guys, in today's video I wanted to have a go at this little guy from the Arcane program that I've been watching. Um, I might do a, a few tutorials on characters from there because I did really enjoy that show. This time I wanted to have a bit of a go with buttercream, something that I don't use a huge amount and I'm also not very good with, so <laughs> it looks a little bit different to what it would have if I'd made it in fondant. But I'm just starting with a rectangle cake drum and a round cake, a chocolate cake. Um, it is frozen. I did bake some spare ones over Christmas and I just took them in the freezer and I took it out without really thinking about defrosting it. So it's quite frozen. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to remove a little bit from each side at the bottom. And then my sort of off cuts I can use for the eyebrow area because the eyebrows are fairly chunky on this guy. And I'm also adding a bit more on the top of the bottom. So it's almost like a kind of cartoony skull shape at the moment with a really big forehead. I'm just sticking together the extra pieces with chocolate buttercream. So I've used the chocolate buttercream to sandwich together the cake and we're just using it to stick parts together as well. So I've put a little gap between what will become the moustache at the front of the head as well. So I'm just going to try and put in some kind of curved lines for like the hair on his head. I'll try and create them a little bit in buttercream as well. But like I say, I'm not very good with buttercream. So we'll, we'll see how it ends up. Now, for the hair colour, I've used a bit of caramel in with some of my buttercream. So it's the colour mill, which is like an oil-based food colour that goes quite well in my buttercream or anything that's oily, really. And I wanted to try and do it with the little palette knives that I've got. So these are like little artist palette knives. I've only really used them in cake decorating classes before, but when I was a student, not teaching, so <laughs> I'm not very good with them. Um, I should have probably practised a bit before doing this, <laughs> this tutorial, really. So I've just gone over the head area with a rough layer first and then I'm going to do the same kind of the bottom section but this time just in the normal buttercream colour. And I've popped that in the fridge to let it firm up. And while it's firming up, I'm just using some of the sort of pale skin tone colour Serotino modelling paste. Now you can use fondant if you want but I've decided on modelling paste just because it's a bit firmer for me to use. And I'm creating a little nose with a little line up the middle and then a couple of little nostrils. And we'll add some colour to it in a bit as well. And then I'm going to use a bigger piece and we're going to create two ears. Now, this guy's got fairly big ears. So let's roll some kind of cone shapes first. I'm going to keep mine fairly chunky just so that they keep their shape and they don't flop over too much. But you can go thinner if you want. So kind of using the handle of one of my modeling tools to create a bit of a dip there. And I'm just going to press in a little bit with my Dresden tool at the end so it looks a little bit hairier at the end of the ears. Now it could have tried these bits with buttercream but I'll be honest I'm not very good with buttercream so like even the other bits a bit beyond me in buttercream so these were just gonna be way too difficult. Um, so yeah modeling paste it is. Then I'm just gonna add a bit of colored dust to it just to stop it looking quite so kind of flat in color and also to make it a little bit more like the color of the actual character's ears. So I'm using a mix of kind of browns and pinks really on this. Really darkening it inside that crease so it looks nice and sort of shadowed in there. And the nose, I'm starting with pink and I'm putting some pink on the bottom and top. And I'm trying to leave a bit in the middle that sticks out almost the colour of my paste so it looks a little bit lighter in that area. Now for the eyes, I'm taking a ball of white fondant and I just cut it in half. I'm using the same colour that we used on the nose and the ears, but you can't tell it, to be honest. They both look white on camera to me, but it's a slightly different colour. And we're cutting some thin strips and we're putting it around the eyes. Now, guys, I actually did make these eyes a little bit too big for what really fit into my cake. So, you know, you could go a little bit smaller than I have done, but I've made them. I didn't want to remake them. So <laughs> I've rolled out some really thin blue paste cut out a circle, stuck it in the eye, and then I'm gonna use my brown edible pen to just draw almost like eyeliner around the edge of that sort of fleshy bit that we've put on. Then I'm gonna add a bit of the color dust, the same colors that we added to the ears, just to give it a bit of shading and a bit more color. And then to the blue part of the eye, I'm using some blue dusts. I'm just trying to go for different shades of blue to what the paste is. And then we're going to use a black edible pen to go around the outline. Now, I don't want to go too neat because when I was looking at pictures of the character, they're not straight lines, but then they're not curved either. But the thing that sort of brings the eyes to life a bit more is putting white highlights in there. So, again, I'm looking at a picture. I realize I haven't got the picture up on screen for you guys to see, but I am looking at a picture of the character 
because even though I've watched the program, I can't ever remember what they look like without having a reference in front of me. So I've mixed some more buttercream. This time I've gone slightly paler in colour. And I'm going to go over with a second layer using the palette knife. My hope was that as I went along, I'd get a little bit more used to using the palette knife. Um, I even tried using one of like my little plastic knives that I have for cake decorating with as well. Now, anywhere that I want the buttercream to be slightly lighter in colour, I've just added a bit more of the normal uncolored buttercream to the buttercream that I had colored. So, you know, the tops of each hair bit, I want to kind of lighten a little bit. So yeah, I'm trying to go a bit lighter in some areas and then I'm gonna use the white buttercream to go over the eyebrow area and the little mustache area and even a little bit the size of the eyes. I'm gonna use a balling tool to kind of just push in to deepen my eye sockets a little bit. So I know that I've got space to put those eyes in there later. I'm trying to put just a tiny bit of buttercream on my small palette knife at a time for this mustache. It kind of looks more feathery effect than maybe hairy, I'm not sure. Let's add a bit of white up here on the hair. And you can try and blend the colours together a bit more if you don't want an obvious difference between the white and the sort of hair colour that we've put on there. And I'm going to do a tiny bit that's a little bit darker. So I've used the caramel and a little bit of that black food colouring together. And then anywhere that it looks like it might be sort of shadowed, I'm going to add a tiny bit of that buttercream in there. This just gives it a bit more depth. So I'm going to just push those eyes that I made earlier into place, trying not to get too much buttercream on them when I do that. And then I'm going to mix a grey, so a bit of grey into my white buttercream. I don't need a lot of that. And I'm just going to try and palette knife it into some areas, especially around the bottom of that sort of moustache area. I'm not even sure it looks like a moustache on my little creation. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to try and get some little bits below the eyebrows as well. And then I'm also going to put a bit of the darker kind of caramel colour between the eyebrows and just sort of above the nose area. Have you guys tried palette knifing with the buttercream before? I did do a class once, I attended a class, I should say, where we did it. it. It's definitely not a strong point of mine and yet I decided I still wanted to have a go at it for this video. Okay, so nose is on. Just darkening up any areas that I think look a bit more shaded. And I'm gonna just mix kind of a mustardy color for the background. And this is just some fondant that I'm gonna use to cover the board. Just roll it out to make sure it fits. Cut off any extra from around the outer edge. The gap under the face, guys, I'm gonna cover with a body later. But I'm gonna just stick the ears on now properly in place with some buttercream. And then I'm gonna add some more like caramel color inside the ears. And then I'm just gonna add some extra bits of white to those big eyebrows. I feel like he's starting to take shape a little bit more now. Like he looks a bit like who he's supposed to. And I've got some dark blue paste for the body. So we're just squishing a piece on. We're gonna put some lines in to kind of separate the arms from the body. Put a little piece in for the neck. And we're just gonna put some lines and stitching lines on there. So he looks more like he's wearing a little uniform. Gonna use my leftover board colored for like a, bot, uh, a little button. And then some little bits that go on the side of his arms. Now I'm not sure they're quite the same pattern as this on the program, but. I went with the easy option and made it as simple as possible for me on this. And then I'm gonna just dust a bit of brighter blue on his outfit, not everywhere, just in some patches so that it, it's a bit more vibrant looking. Let's add a bit of black to the background, just so it's not all one shade of color on the background. And of course, if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. I'm just using the edible powders. And then I'm gonna paint on some gold. These paints are just, they're really hard until you mix them with water. They are edible um, and then they just make a paint. So we're just gonna paint that on those pieces there. There we go, guys. Now, I think I call him the wrong name, this guy. I call him Hermadinger. Is it Hermadinger? I'm not sure. You wouldn't think I'd watch the program, would you? But I have. It was a program I really enjoyed. Have you guys watched it? Let me know what you thought. Should I do some more characters from Arcane? Or not? What do you think? I'm thinking maybe some figures. But I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Bye! If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.